we do focus a lot on being a bystander when it comes to sexual assault, but we also look at being a bystander with suicide prevention, domestic violence. Uh, we're even bystanders when it comes to helping each other advance or learn a skill. So you can go direct to myduty.mil uh, and find some links on bystander intervention. In fact, when you go to myduty.mil, right there on the top menu, it has prevention. And so when you click on prevention, it has another link for bystander and how to be a bystander. And it gives some helpful hints and a couple of sample questions that you can ask, you know, the friends that you're out with or even, you know, other sailors. You don't have to know me to be a great bystander, just like you don't have to know me personally to be a great shipmate. You can intervene when your instincts say intervene. You know, the first thing that comes to our senses is to be polite and to not be rude. And so, you know, we're apprehensive about saying to somebody, hey, I don't want to talk with you anymore. I don't want to have this conversation or I'm feeling uncomfortable in this situation. And it's amazing how if it was, you know, a clear and present danger, if you will, and something was about to fall on us and we see it, we're going to step out of the way. But when we're in that social environment, something bad may be uh, about to fall upon us, but we don't step out of the way. If you're going to step out of the way of something falling on your head, have the courage to step out of the way when you feel that you're in a danger zone in a social environment. And it's not just for women, it's for men as well. Um, and it's not just for a bystander intervention environment where you see a uh, potential sexual harassment or sexual assault. It's for a myriad of other things too. So think domestic violence, think suicide prevention, Think about just a sailor feeling down and out who needs a friend. Don't be afraid to intervene. You know, I would much rather intervene and be told by that person, hey, no, I'm okay, mind your own business, than to have not intervene and then read about a story of tragedy the next day. So those are your ABCDs. Assess the situation, balance your resources available, communicate, and do a debrief. Don't wait for things to happen to you make them happen for you.